Hello, my name is Mark Elliott and I'm Curator in Anthropology at the Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology, or MAA, in Cambridge. And this video is part of the Museum Remix Unheard project. The object I've chosen is a mask made and worn by men of the Igbo people in southern Nigeria more than a hundred years ago. The mask itself is made of wood and coloured with black and white pigments. The white face, you can see the eyes, mouth and facial scars are picked out in black and the black hair with spirals carved across the surface to show the curls is topped with a crest of spikes that runs from the hairline at the front to the back of the head. Two wooden hair combs stick out on either side and along with the tips of the crests these show the colour of the wood from which the mask was originally carved. It's about 30 centimetres high and about 25 centimetres wide and would have been worn on top of the head by a male dancer from the Igbo people, probably in the small town of Nibo in southern Nigeria. The dancer's face and the rest of the body would have been covered by a costume. I've picked this object because it can speak to us about so many different aspects of what unheard might mean. It's on display in the World Anthropology Gallery at MAA in a section that talks about the early years of Cambridge Anthropology to try to give some context to what the artefacts from all over the world are doing in a small museum in a small town in East Anglia. The story that's highlighted in the object's caption is that of an Englishman that collected it. It's one of thousands of artefacts and many more photographs, sound recordings and notes that were collected over several years by Northcott Thomas a Cambridge graduate who found himself in West Africa in 1909 with the rather unbelievable title of government anthropologist and who over five years worked closely with diverse men and women across Nigeria and Sierra Leone to create this extraordinary collection. It's a good story, but other stories and other people like those who made it, wore it, saw it danced or made any of the music that would have accompanied it aren't recorded either in the caption or in any of the notes that came with it to Cambridge. We just don't know about these people. But it's also intriguing because of what it represents and the identities and stories that it reveals and conceals. The mask is of a maiden spirit, whose name we don't know either. So this is a female mask worn by a male dancer and it would have evoked a woman that in some ways embodies an ideal of femininity. A man honouring women's power through performance may also have been a way for a community to negotiate gender roles. Like any performance, a dancer is transformed into the character they are playing. In this case, a man transformed into a woman. What other kind of transformations are going on here? You might want to think about what it would have been like to dance it, or to see it danced. Or maybe the music and the stories that would have been heard alongside it but are now disconnected from the silent, still artefact that sits behind glass in a display in Cambridge. You could certainly think about the tensions within the mask and its performance between the male and the female. You might even think about this object as a museum piece in a different kind of way. It still looks really fresh. The paint and the wood are still really bright. Was it ever danced or was it commissioned by the collector to show something and why and does it matter? But it is, of course, entirely up to you, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Happy remixing.